First, we're taking you to Tyr Connell Gale's GAA Grounds for London Irish Vintage Day 2023, when country star Derek Ryan headlined the entertainment. Indeed, I've heard so much about it, and I used to play actually in a, a little pub in Greenford there years ago when I was living in London 20 something years ago. So um, it's great to be back in Greenford with my own show. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a crazy gig. It was so hot. I've, I've been gigging a long time. I don't think I've ever seen had heat like it. Um, but it was unbelievable. A great atmosphere. As I said, the sun was out, the crowd was out. Um, and it really was a special night. You know, I used to gig just around the corner in, in pubs years ago. And uh, not to, to many people, if any people sometimes, except the barman. So um, to come back here and play the thousands, it's just a special feeling to come back to London. I spent a lot of my life here, a good, a good few years. Um, and uh, it's kind of a home away from home really, you know, so um, I feel very kind of comfortable here and uh, it's a great place to do a gig, so delighted. Um, but yeah, just to come out to a crowd like this, uh, thousands, I mean, I don't know how many of us there, I know, probably three or four thousand people. Um, and it's just un unbelievable, yeah, just I'm, I'm wrecked after it, I have to say, we give it everything, so, yeah. So look at it, it's, it's really nice um, and I've never been here before at the London Irish Vintage Festival so we got a great welcome and they're really looking after us and you know it's just been an absolute pleasure to be here to be honest. We travelled through the night so you know we, 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 uh, we had a gig last night in, in Wexford at home um, so the crew rocked really hard to get here and get everything set up and so it's just, uh, just glad that everyone enjoyed it and all the hard work paid off you know. Um, so these festivals, you know, I think we're kind of, kind of coming towards the end of them now. Um, that could be even our, our last kind of outdoor thing, I'm not sure now, but um, if it is, we definitely ended it on a high, you know. Obviously, you've never been here to London Irish Vintage Day before, but will you be back? Yeah, well, I'd love to. Whenever, they, you know, if we get invited, we'll definitely come back. I mean, it's a great gig, why wouldn't we? Yeah, why wouldn't we? It was a sweltering day for the annual fundraiser, which was an aid of bias, wet wheels humble, St. Joseph Hospice and Ashling Project. Bridie Sweeney, Service Director of Ashling Centre, told us what it meant. Um, it really has been a privilege to have been here and we've had a great time, we've had a great crack. We've met so many people, we've met people we knew from home from or people who lived near us years ago but we've also met lots of other people and it's just been lovely to chat and hear about people's lives and also most importantly for us to maybe spread a bit of information about mental health and how to take care of yourself. Of course, so that's what it's all about today. It's raising funds, obviously, for good causes, and, and raising awareness, I'd say, is what it's about. Too. A absolutely, particularly with mental health, because there still is some stigma with mental health, and quite often people, um, I suppose, they, they don't come from help when things start to get difficult, and quite often they're in quite a desperate state before they come forward. So I suppose our real aim is to encourage people to take the step, come forward. We know it's not easy, but there is help there if you know lift the phone or call into the centres and there's loads of you know services you know here in England right across the UK you know as well as our service back home in Fermanagh. There was also entertainment from Slim Attraction, Hungry Grass, and Teresa O'Donoghue School of Irish Dancing. How does it feel to be here today for London Irish Vintage? Oh, it's very good. It's a great day. It's great to be back. Um, it's like being in Benidorm here with the heat, and it's such a great atmosphere, and there's a massive crowd here, and uh, it's just so good to be back doing it again. 
was really good to have this and it's great for the community to come together and, and it's also for such great causes as well for charity and stuff so yeah it's brilliant. I remember it was only a small little event and we used to play it over by the, the clubhouse and but now it's such a big event like it's just bigger and bigger and it's it's going to get bigger I think so it's great it's really good. Excellent you'll be back again. I'll be back definitely. <laughs> Very, very hot up there, but it was, yeah. it was good fun. We um, we made it through the heat, you know. Like it, it, that's the hottest I have ever been on stage, and it's not like that. We played in sunshine before festivals and that, but it's just the sun was coming in on us like that. But look at brilliant crack, great crowd out there. You know the sun certainly brings the people out, doesn't it? So yeah, good to see you again this year. <laughs> Excellent. This is it. Sure, we seen you here at this event last year, and you've done it before as well. You did the very first one. It's been good to see it develop and grow, hasn't it? Well, it's certainly changed since the first one, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It certainly has, yeah. We were here the first one and yeah, we've been here most years actually. There's probably a couple of years where we miss, but yeah, always great to come up here to Greenford and support, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just bigger and better each year and you bump into people you haven't seen and yeah, it's, it's a great day well. out The kids the love it, don't they? You know what I mean? They're all wandering around there, they're taking pictures yeah. and they're chatting to you like adults, you know what I mean? Yeah, and they, they love it, don't they? They love that this yeah. kind of live thing. You remember yourself when you were young, if you went to any of those feats or things you used to have in Ireland, you know? It's always yeah. great crack, wasn't it? You know? it's, it's a bit like Roundwood Park. Yeah, that, Roundwood, It's a bit yeah, like that, yeah, you know? Yeah, just something for right. everyone, really. So it's great yeah. that it's um, going strong, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's always great to, to play with the yeah, lads, yeah. so... We don't yeah. mind people getting up and joining us, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we'll make a racket anyway, yeah. <laughs> you'll be back! You'll be back, you'll be back! We'll be back, we'll be back, we'll definitely be back. Yeah, yeah thanks a lot. It's great, you know? thank you. So. London Rose Amy Gillen was enjoying her first public engagement since representing London in Tralee. How's it feel to be here today for London Irish Vintage Day? Yes, as London Rose, is it good to be here? Oh, it's absolutely unbelievable to be here today, David. It's an, you know, it's a gorgeous day first of all, and just the atmosphere is already incredible, and all the stalls that are set up, the food stalls, the vintage tractors, cars, and lorries, and just all the people, not only from Donegal but all around the place. It's be, it's a lovely day so far. Of course, excellent. And of course, you're just back as well from, from Tralee. You're back from representing London at the Rose of Tralee. Just very simply, how was the whole experience? How did you enjoy it? The experience at, in Tralee was absolutely incredible. I enjoyed every single moment of it. I'm just trying to relive all those moments as well by looking through pictures over the, the last week or so. It was an incredible experience and I can say I've made friends for life easily, you know, and we're all there hasn't been a day that's gone by so far that I haven't been in contact with the Roses or the S course at some point in the day so I was just so delighted and so proud to represent London and the people I love and care about so much. Of course excellent I mean was there one special highlight for you whether it was playing playing in the dome or you know having your chat with Catherine or, or what st stands out for you? Well of course that was a huge highlight you know speaking to Catherine and having the opportunity to play on the Rose of Tralee stage you know that was a, a dream of mine for so many years but there were so many highlights throughout the festival I do have to say that the parade in Tralee at the nighttime parade was incredible like the streets were lined with people the atmosphere was electric and just the people that came out to support you know us to support each other was phenomenal and you know we, we did so many things we did go-karting we did kayaking we uh, herded sheep in heels and dresses I, I, I'm still saying I cannot wait to see the photos of that one <laughs> I think I might have seen a couple actually, there's some good ones. Send them to me. <laughs> like and wasn't it your granny Rudy you were saying who was encouraging you to do it did it feel very special in that way did you think about your granny while you was over there as well I did indeed and even when I was playing on the Rose of Tralee stage you know I was thought that like thought of my granny and I thought how proud she would be well both of my grannies like you know because um they I grew grew up with them watching the Rose of Tralee but uh, it was it was just so incredible to be part of it all and, and to, to you know to, to make everyone proud to make the people of London proud where I'm from from and Donegal proud as well and 
Rose, and that's the day. And just back to what's next. Obviously, you've got a year ahead as London Rose. And I guess yeah, events like yeah. today is a big part of what it's all about, isn't it? It's very yeah, important to yeah, be yeah, here yeah, as London yeah, Rose for, like you yeah, said, yeah, community yeah, events, yeah, fundraisers. Yeah. That's what today's all about, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, like, that's yeah, what I'm so yeah. looking forward to now, is just wearing the London Rose sash for the next year or just under a year now. Yeah. And, you know, be, coming to events wow. like this, uh, you know, I'm going to some Donegal Association events in London as well, as well as, you know, an event at the Irish Embassy with the Irish Youth Foundation, part of other women's Irish network events as well. And, you know, there's so many things to, to be part of throughout the year. It's going to be a busy year, you know, still wearing the sash and I'm just looking forward to every single moment. Another special guest was London Mary from Dunlow, Aaron Doohan. Is it good to be here? It's a privilege to be here and there's a lot happening. I can't wait to see everyone and I'm sure it'll be a really good day. Of course, and of course you're not that long back from Donegal, right, from the festival itself in Dunlow. How did you enjoy it all? I absolutely loved it. I can say that with genuine heart like I met so many amazing girls from all around the world I've got visits planned to Glasgow I'm going out to Adele in Dubai to visit her as well and want to get maybe a wee trip down to Birmingham places like that like just so many new friends and so many new opportunities as well words I best you're just looking forward to the year ahead there's just so much to look forward to just meeting new people and connecting more with the Irish people in London I suppose just things like that, really, and doing Donegal Proud and London Proud, yeah. I don't worry about times ahead The future is unknown With every bend and crossroads You'll never be alone And if the days get darker and the restless winds they blow And in the gust We can trust our love We'll take us home Hold on to your hat And we'll drive this road together Hold on to your hat And we'll see all kinds of weather Hold on to your hat And we'll drive this road together Hold on to your hat feel to be here today for the London Irish Vintage Day and yeah what do you think of what you've seen? It's absolutely brilliant the, the sun is beating down there's huge crowds here all generations young and the old all corners of Ireland and, and, and further afield and people from around England as well having just a wonderful wonderful day there's so much to see and do and uh, it's just great to see everybody out on a lovely sunny day in London. That's what it's what it's about being ambassador isn't it getting out in the community and this, this is what it is today, this is what you're seeing. That's absolutely right, it's a very important part of what we do in the Embassy. We try and work with the community all over London and all over Britain and try and help them and they help us an awful lot as well and it's a real, the Irish in, in Britain really stick together, it's a real team effort for everybody so it's just great for me to be able to come here and see so many people, people I know and people I don't know from all over the country enjoying themselves here in London. For good cause as well, isn't that the important thing? That's right. Absolutely right, it's the community coming together to enjoy themselves but also to support some very very important charities and some very innovative charities and so people do some really really valuable work in the community. What the charities that, that are being sponsored today to do is fantastic, got to speak to them all and uh, they're really wonderful people and they're doing great work.
Yeah. Right. I, I bet you couldn't have imagined how it would grow when you started it off, right? I started with about 300 people. Patrick Kilty was here that day. And that's what do you call it. It's grown and grown now so big. So, it's a ah, great success and thanks for all the support that everybody's given us, you know. Without that, you can't do it. Simple as that. London Irish Vintage Day returns on Sunday 8th September.